Welcome back to another episode of Simply Unprofessional. I'm your host, Webby. Joining me tonight, we got Devin. How's it going? I'm Dev. And we got Mr. Rob Equist. Hey, everybody. Okay, so we need to address a few things. <laughs> the world is a black pit of soul crushing. Rob's just depressed. Fire. Fire. <sighs> okay. So, for those of you who are listening to this the day it comes out, what the fuck are you doing? Spend some time with your family, because this is coming out on Christmas Day. Uh... <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that. Merry Christmas! <laughs> soul is still a black hole, soul-crushing fire. <laughs> so, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, Happy whatever the fuck it is you do celebrate, unless you're like me, I don't celebrate much of anything. Um... Uh, I won't be listening to this on Christmas because I'll have no power. Webby celebrates his penis. Listen, well, yes, yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> Rob, you don't know for sure you won't have power. <laughs> he lights candles and <laughs> I don't know for sure. I also celebrate penis. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, Japan has an entire penis festival. So, Rob, I want you to do me a favor. Mm hmm. I want you to make sure your phone is charged Thursday night. Okay, okay. Going into Friday. If you lose power, I want you to sit at your desk. I want you to draw on a piece of paper some like an Overwatch scene and then tape it to your <laughs> monitor and then send me a picture. <laughs> I can do that. If you, I have no power. Because then you, I will have nothing else. Yeah, of you so. playing Overwatch with no power. Um. So yeah. So everybody, Merry Christmas. We decided this week. Listen, okay, man. The end of the year, twenty twenty. I'm I'm ready for it to be over. First off, but uh, we decided we were just gonna do an episode where we're just gonna shoot the shit, hang out, talk. Uh, we can talk about whatever. But that's pretty much what you're getting. We don't have any type of format and or review that we're doing this week. Um, or any type of like set discussion. Uh, so you're going to have to just live with what you get, people. <laughs> uh, Rob, why are you so down? Like the whole not, black pit, I'm not down. black I, soul pit of despair. I'm downright oh. cheerful. I am Prove it. in the holiday spirit. Prove it. This is the holiday spirit, Black Pit of Fire. That's not the Rob that I know. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> I mean, it mostly was work because everyone's fucking shithead because it's almost Christmas, and I work in retail, so you know. Did any shitheady shitness? Did anybody call you today and found say for Christmas? Did anybody call you today and say your name in a really condescending way? <coughs> no. Oh. That... So, tell us about... Okay, <laughs> if, you, if you think about work today, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the worst customer you dealt with today. Uh, Worst customer I dealt with... Well, the worst situation, first off, was that we had a dog get its... Fing uh, well, finger, sort of, toe, caught in the tub, and we had to take the tub apart, get him out, take him to the vet, cost us $900. Cost the <laughs> store $900? Mm-hmm. Jesus. And it, the tub is still dismantled. Well, no grooming. No. Um, so that was fun. Now, are you guys <clears> open <throat> tomorrow, Christmas Eve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Who wants to go to a pet store on Christmas Eve? Lots of people. 
<sighs> Lots of assholes. <laughs> um, but the worst actual customer that I dealt with was um, guy came in and he's like, "Oh, I bought four fish this morning. I bought a bunch of fish this morning, and four of them are dead." I'm like, "From this morning?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, I want to get new ones. Didn't bring back the fish. Didn't bring back a sample of water to test it to make sure that there's nothing wrong with water. So I'm like, uh, without a water test, I can't give you new fish because I don't know what's wrong. Four fish shouldn't have died in one day. I'm like, right. how many fish did you buy? He's like, I bought eight. It's like two of each and one of each died. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, what? why did you buy so many fish? They're like, He's like, oh, it's for my daughters. They're each getting four in their tanks. I'm like, okay, so how big are the tanks? He's like, well, they're they're 20 gallons. And I was like, okay. He's like, well, we're not keeping them. Well, what are you keeping them in then? A vase. Oh, well, okay. <sighs> like, why? He's like, well, because the, the tanks are gifts, so we didn't set them up yet, so we're keeping the fish in, the, in, a, in a vase. Like... I, I I was half expecting this guy to be like, we're keeping them in the plastic bags that you gave them to us in, and we're <laughs> just storing them in the fridge for right now. <laughs> it would have been better just by going to like the fucking like Walmart and getting like a tub or a tub and just buying a heater and just dropping it in there and throwing the fish in there for a while. Yeah, get like, like a little five get like a little five gallon tank. Just it would have gone by. Yeah, I mean, it would have went slightly better, but the the issue mostly is the air because. Most fish can't, they have to have oxygen in the water. So if you have in a standing water that's not moving, like in a vase, they'll just suffocate to death within a couple hours because they use up all the oxygen in the water. You have to have it like churning in some way. That's what the filters do. So filters, like as they filter, they also pour water into the tank to give the fish oxygen. The water. It makes the water move in an yeah. area. Yeah. So you're telling me. <laughs> If I bought a fish, came home, and then filled up my sink with water, I couldn't just plop the fish in the sink and it'd be cool? No. I mean, it would be okay for a couple of hours, but eventually it would run out of... Like, if you kept for turning the faucet on to put move the water and put oxygen in there, okay for a while. But it can't live in standing water. The only bait fish that can are beta fish, <clears throat> or Siamese fighting fish, as they're also called, because... Because they from the surface, they actually they have lungs, so they come to the surface and breathe and then go back down. Mother oh. fish use gills and they suck oxygen out of the water with Sam- their gills. Samurai fish. Samurai! Samurai fish! Samurai fish! Anime fish. I said Siamese, not samurai, for one. <laughs> well, I didn't hear you say Siamese or Amorite. Same uh, thing. Same not, thing. It's not at all. It's, it's the same. Uh, you know, look in the history no. books. Anytime they reference anything about Siamese, there's usually a katana involved. <laughs> no! <Okay. laughs> I think we're going to call the SU lawyers again. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, okay, I'm pulling back the curtain. I'm going to give an excuse as to why I'm like this. It's uh, 10 minutes to midnight. Siamese is tight. What's that? <laughs> Siamese is Thai. <laughs> yeah, samurais. Thai, samurai, no! they sound the same. No. They have the same eye play. thing at the end. This is the last episode <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Devin, don't okay, even get me started on why Ahsoka Tano is a shitty oh my God. mushroom dweller. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now I realize what you said, Webby, that they have the eye at the end. I thought you were talking about their eyes. I was like, that is so bad. No, no. <laughs> no. I was talking about the, the sound it makes. The worst part is, it's not much better. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's still bad. It's slightly less bad. Listen, like, I know, I know, a, I know some Asians. On a scale of like, on a scale of like one to bad, it's just like the, what you thought was bad. That was just like bad. It's still bad. But it's okay <laughs> because you're my black you know friend. I'm glad that you guys waited for me for this because your casual racism has <laughs> cheered me up. <laughs> Why? Why am I getting lumped in with the casual racism here? I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. 
I am uh, not a racist. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is an uphill battle. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna have to have a we're gonna have to have a whole episode where you guys quiz me and prove that I'm not a racist for real. <laughs> Just like somehow you're gonna question me, and it's well, gonna feel- prove that I am or am not definitively it's like, it's a like, racist. It's like I feel like you're gonna fuck it up. Like in the first sentence, I'd be like, "Webby, Kim Jong Un is a dictator of what of what country? Like North fuck, Korea? I don't know. They're all the Boom. same." North all the Korea. same? Nah, <laughs> see, North Korea. Korea. I <laughs> even specified... Like, the same? I even specified which half of Korea it was. Boom. <laughs> no. See that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right. You could have literally named any other person. I'd be like, I don't know, Thailand? <laughs> I mean, fine. Fair. It's okay. No, we'll 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 sit down. We'll do it. Okay, I don't want the listeners to think that I'm just a racist. Okay, I'm no, 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 nobody thinks you're just a racist. Like, no, no, it's just in addition to my other faults, I'm also a racist. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're a racist. I think you're racially slightly racially insensitive, but that's fine. Oh, okay, I can deal with that as long as people aren't accusing me of being just outright racist. Yeah, no, 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 you're, no, you're, right. no, you're not. You're not racist. I'm insensitive <laughs> against everybody, not just. Other races. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Shall fine. we tell the story of the whether you're sympathetic or not? <laughs> oh okay. yeah. So okay, no, okay. So Devin, I was taking this little quiz thing yesterday, and it was like uh-huh. it was one of those strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, or strongly agree type quizzes, right? Mm-hmm. And the question that popped up was, "Do people consider you sympathetic?" So I asked Rob, and then I asked my dad, and then eventually we asked Donnie. I want to ask you, if you had to put it on the strongly disagree, disagree, strongly agree, agree, or neutral, where would you put me as far as if you think I'm sympathetic? I would say, so I would probably, I I would agree with that you are sympathetic. But I think you are unintentionally sympathetic. You're you're, You're sympathetic even when you don't want to be. Um, you desperately try not to be, but I think you also have a um a crippling case of empathy. And when people are feeling some type of way, um, or like feeling upset, you usually latch onto that, and you then also feel upset for them. So I think you are somewhat, but it's not intentional. See, Devin gets me. To, you know, <laughs> I asked Rob because I was on the call with Rob at the time I was taking this test. First off, like, fuck no. No, it, that's not even how it started. I was like, Rob, do you think I'm sympathetic? He just starts he just, laughing. Did you start giggling? No, he just outright <laughs> yeah. laughed. Uh, Rob, what was your what was your exact answer? I'm pouring, I'm, I'm pouring some bourbon. And then I, you said, would you say I'm sympathetic? I paused for half a second and then I went, <laughs> You you wished a child fell down the stairs <laughs> is what I said. Yeah. And then I asked my dad, and my dad's like, uh, I mean, I think you are to a point, but in other in other senses, you're not. So probably in the middle of the road. And then Donnie also said middle of the road. And I yeah, was just I like, eventually well, came to the middle of the road. Because after I right. said about the kid, after I said about the kid, what he said, well, yeah, but like, I wouldn't want you to fall down the stairs. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I see your point. I'd say middle of the road. So we off with middle of the road. So it's well, nice. To, it's I, nice to have a refreshing Devin here to step in and just say that I am sympathetic. You, I think you are sympathetic, but I, I, but I think it's more like you're sympathetic despite, despite everything, try in, in you trying not to be at times. Fair. I, 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 I will. Okay, I will one hundred percent agree that I also feel like it is situational. It's situational, um, you know, like had like ha- ha- had a child fallen down the front steps. Some I, random child had fallen down the steps that I'm, you did not know that had not pissed you off. You'd feel you, well, you'd feel bad for the kid to a degree. I mean, maybe, yeah, probably. I mean, maybe. I mean, I mean, to be fair, if the kid fell funny, the kid fell funny. I'd laugh. I'd check on him after the fact, but I'd laugh. I wouldn't. The kid I, like I wouldn't. The even kid get went like and... ass. 
if the kid was like on their cell phone walking and didn't see the stairs and went ass over tea kettle down the stairs, I'm laughing at you. I'll check on you after the fact and make sure you're not dead in my house, but I'm laughing at you. Because I, I just don't need that type of uh, attention from the law. Um, I just don't, you know, I don't need dead kids in my house. I don't have the homeowner's insurance. Well, for this is outside. Inside, outside. I don't need dead kids in my property. Mm-hmm. Well, not my kids, I don't need not any, my property. What? What are you saying? I don't need any more dead kids in my brain. <laughs> okay, we we're, need to, we we're need not to change the subject. That. We need to change the subject. Scratch behind my knee. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to racism. I'm but, racist, guys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions, too, though, was like, do you enjoy caring for children and pets? And we were both, we both of us were like, eh. yeah, like me, I was I, like, I, I, mean, I, I like split that. <laughs> I, I like caring for, I, like, I care for animals. I like, I enjoy caring for animals, um, like pets, not kids. I know. I don't know why they combined the two. Maybe yeah. you were supposed to choose one or the other. <laughs> You're yeah. like, okay, yeah, pets. So yes, but I was just like, I picked middle of the road for myself because I was like, in half and half. <laughs> But it was it was it, this test was supposed to prove if like I'm like traditional or woke. woke. Well, that was the other one, right? Traditional or woke? Yeah. yeah. And I, then like I I messaged Ross. I was like, dude, what the fuck is woke? Like what? Like what is? In fact, you know what? Can one of you explain to me what that, this is? Are you talking about that test that Tamir posted? Yeah, about? yeah, yeah. Got you. I asked Ross if mine looked accurate, and he goes, he, his reply was, it's about as accurate as if you took one to see which X-Men you were. And I was like, <laughs> all right, which X-Men would I be? And he goes, The Flash. I was like, touche. <laughs> the Flash is an X-Men. I know. <laughs> That's how accurate those tests are. <laughs> but yeah, okay, can one of you give me the definite, like, what is woke? I always I always oh, hear people talk about woke. The easiest woke definition of woke is just like I guess the easiest like layman's definition of woke would be like just be like being aware of being aware of I guess the the real status quo and being like aware of like social issues. So here, if you want to put like woke on the Urban Dictionary, let's go to the Urban Dictionary here. That's what the Urban Dictionary is for. Boom, Urban Dictionary, folks. That's what it's for. All right, woke. The act of being <laughs> so woke. The top definition of woke, according to the Urban Dictionary, is the act of being very pretentious about how much you care about a social issue. Um, I mean, yeah, I think being woke can be a being woke can be a positive, used in a positive or a negative way, because it's like it's it's just like having an awareness of like social issues or like being able to like be aware of like the status quo and knowing like being like outside of it, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. Let me ask you this. This is both for you and Rob. Uh, you guys, you know, you, you've known me for quite a while. Would you say that I am woke quote unquote or no. traditional? No. Okay. No, that was, I would say fast. you're more traditional. I would say you're more traditional <laughs> than <you're> woke. <laughs> now, is that a bad thing though? Not necessarily. I mean, it, 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 it depends. Like, I wouldn't use the term woke, right? Like, I guess you could go, like, traditional or, are like, I, see, they already used the term liberal on that test, but it's like, are you more traditional or are you more, I would use the term more, like, I guess, open-minded or we're supposed to woke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because it's. Well, that's the thing is, I am pretty open. Saying, I, I do I consider saying, myself very open-minded. open-minded. Well, that's what I was saying. I wouldn't use I wouldn't use the terminology of woke in that particular sentence, right? Um, but in like in in that comparison on that what they do in that test and like how it's leaning, I wouldn't use the term woke. I, okay. Me personally, like, so, I wouldn't use like, the term woke I, in I that feel time. like I think woke gives the connotation more of like you want to fight for social like these social things whereas right? i don't see it's, like it's, it's, it's really it's, all, it's boiled down to being aware being aware of like social issues and things like that right but it's yeah no i don't know woke is a weird term like it, yeah, it, it almost it, has a negative connotation. That's it. what I'm saying. Like it's po- it's a, it, it, it was a term that was used to be like, oh wow, this guy's woke. And then it was, you know, like 
He's woke. Like he's up on the real social issues. He's no, he knows what's really going on. Or See, this person me, knows what's really going on. When That's I first what, heard like, the word woke, woke was when it first when it first started. When I first but then heard, it slowly became like a negative thing. So it's like I wouldn't use the term woke. When I first heard the term woke, I honestly thought it was just like, okay, someone's just not sleeping anymore. <laughs> Like, but, they, like they woke I mean, up. it should have more said like traditional and progressive. Woke has like that now, negative connotation to it. Okay, so now I feel like I'm almost feeling like I have to be defensive now. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. It's it, it's, because, it's like I do completely. agree. I, I I do feel like I'm I'm probably like I would probably classify myself as traditional Webby, Webby, in my Webby, 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 process. I'm, Webby, I'm going to put it like this. I'm going I'm going to make this really simple for you. Yes or no. You honestly believe that people can do whatever, pretty much whatever the fuck they want, as long as they're not killing anybody, hurting anybody, and they can and and whatever makes them happy, right? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. There you, you know. go. Problem solved. There you go. The answer to the question. Without getting into like the the nitty gritty, that answer to the question. People can do whatever they want, and <sighs> as long as it makes them happy, they're not if they're not hurting anybody. I I, I got no problems. There you go. Okay. Problem solved. But I mean, if you're going on that standard of just simplifying it down to the one question, I'm pretty sure most people would say yes, but then everyone well, would yes be considered no. the right? same. Most people do not follow that. <laughs> yeah, most people don't. Oh. More more traditional people won't. Like if I went to like I'm just gonna say like the Bible belt. <laughs> And and ask that question, uh, I would get a vastly different answer. I'd be like, "Well, of course they can do whatever they want as long as it's in the eyes of the good Lord." Like, well, that not what I asked the question, but okay, let's go with that. <laughs> it's not what I asked, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, like it's more like if you don't care enough to, like, a lot of people are bothered by what other people do for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, well, th- here's the thing. So, like, I'm not bothered by what other people do. So here, I you want the hold you on. want the Oxford definition hold, of woke? No, hold on. Go ahead. Yep. I, 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 I'm going to put myself out there, and I mean, I might get some negative feedback off of this comment. I guess uh, I'm not bothered by what other people do. I, I do get bothered by some of not the choices people make. That's the wrong thing. Like, I get bothered by very specific things in, like, the social uh, world, I guess, nowadays. Um, But as far as, like, the generally speaking, like, people wanting to be a different gender, people, you know, being gay. Hey, man, to each your own. Do what makes you, do what puts a smile on your face. You know? Everybody has the right to be happy in this world, as far as I'm concerned. Hundred percent. Um, yeah. So but, that's but like. But now how see come, that? But see, there are people that don't. No, I get but, that. Well, yeah. But now, like, so they would be more traditionalists. But now that I like, according to this test, I'm no. a super traditionalist. That's why I'm saying those tests are bullshit. <laughs> like, like I, I, like I talked to Rob. Bar. Now, like the one thing that's probably going to give me some negative feedback here, when when you start talking about like there was a question on there that I, sparked a small conversation between me and Rob anyway about gender fluid people, people who just switch between being you know be, considering themselves male or female. Uh, at various different times or whenever the mood strikes them. I disagree with that. I don't think that you should... That has nothing to do with sex, your your sexual preference or, or, or sexuality. That's just your mood. That's that's like what Rob put it in vamp terms. That's your demeanor. That's just how you're, you know, presenting yourself in the moment. You know, you were either... Uh, essentially the the male female and then rob scientifically threw out that there are you know the ones that are both but yeah, there are, there are interesting you know people. the whole the whole bouncing back and forth to suit your needs in the moment 
I'm not. I I don't agree with that. I'm I'm not gonna fight. I, I don't disagree, and I don't hate it to the point where I'm gonna fight about it. But is, I mean, like, I mean, I'm, I mean, I, I guess if you're going on this path, I guess if you're gonna do it like this way, this is the way I look at it, right? And this is the way I feel about a lot of things. Um, and that particular issue, if like, if that's your life, and that's what, and that's the life that you live with, and that's what you know, those are the cards you've been dealt for one, one reason or another. And that's what, and you know, and that's the life you're living with. Um, honestly, like I'm cool with that, but at the same time, you also have to be as that person. You have to be aware that not everyone is going to be able to accommodate that in the moment and at that particular point in time. And that's kind of where that's just that's how I feel about most issues in general. It's like you know, if you don't like this person, you don't like this person that this person is gay. That's fine. I'm not gonna force. I'm not gonna force you to like someone who's gay, right? But at the same time, I don't want. I don't want the gay person to hate that person just because they don't like someone who's not gay. So I think it's both. I think it it comes up. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, good or bad. Whether or not I I think your opinion is right or wrong, you're entitled to it. Right. Um. So I'm not going to get upset at you if you are, like. I mean, this is going to sound weird, but I mean, I have friends who I say, well, friends is a loose term. I am like acquainted with people who have a particular distaste for black people and I see them on a semi-regular basis. I'm not, I don't hang out with them, but I, we, we interact. And the truth of the matter is it's like, I understand your point of view. Me In your eyes, I am not your equal. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to fight that battle with you because no matter what I say to you, I don't think it's going to change. Listeners, right? he is not talking about me. I have to I'm specify not. that. I, I'm, I'm not talking about it. <laughs> Seriously, like, I just feel like that's how, yeah. that's the truth. No, like, and I, that's the truth. Like, the, so the only time I will get like, up in arms about it. I will it. have that conversation with some. Like, if you want to, if somebody comes to me, it's like, you know, let's debate. Let's have a conversation. Let's debate. I will gladly sit down and I will talk and I will debate. I will have a conversation with you. But I'm not, I'm not going to go out of my way to and, and some people say that's wrong. Like you should use every opportunity to educate to educate people. And there's a difference between educating someone and getting into an argument with someone because they don't agree with your viewpoint. One hundred percent. Whether whether you're right or wrong, whether like societal consensus says you're right or you're wrong, like there, it's not. There's a time and a place, and me just arguing with you is not going to change your viewpoint. Right. Now, if you want to have a, if you want to have a incisive conversation and you want to sit out and like actually have a conversation and we can go over talking points of like you know you know uh like left field football here to left field like oh you want to if you want to sit down and have a conversation about why hitler's not that bad i can sit down and have a conversation with you about why hitler was that bad you know if you really want to do that but if you walk around in day-to-day life and you feel like hitler's not that bad me just coming up to you going like you're wrong and like wagging my finger in your face that's not going to change your mind. <laughs> right. Now I'm I, I now see I'm I'm in the same boat. Like I I am 100% willing to sit down and talk about any of these things if people ever have an interest in talking. Now, I will be the first one to tell you I don't know a lot about all of you know the various you know social I I, I would they be considered stigmas? Are they staying? I don't. I don't even know if I'm using the word right. No, uh, uh, you know, social. I guess like social there issues have, would be the yeah. best way to say it. Like so there, issues. there have yeah. been plenty of times where I've called Ross with just a straight up question, and I like I've had to preface it like Ross, don't. I don't want. I don't want to offend or upset anybody. <laughs> but like, can you explain to me what this is all about? And then he'll take the time, and like he'll take the time, and he'll t- discuss with me about you know, what the, what the issue is or what something means. Cause I don't know what all of this stuff, like all the terms mean and stuff. I'm, and it's not that I'm closed minded. I just, I don't bother researching it. Like it doesn't well, it, affect me. Honestly, it, it's not something that comes up in your day to day life. right? Exactly. But the thing is, is the time that I will very much start getting up in arms about it is if somebody comes and starts attacking me verbally because of my views, that will make me just want to close up, put on that suit of armor, put my foot down, and put them in their place. Well, that's what happens. That's what happens in general, and that and that's why and that's why I, I say like there's no there's no merit. Nobody wins in that situation, right? Right. 
Like, like, like I'd rather at, you, you know, come to me. I'd rather you come protest, to right? me with a topic and and discuss it with me and and actually educate me, like teach me about mm -hmm. it. And that will, you know, whether it changes my mind or not, by the end of the discussion, you have a better chance of doing so if you come at me and you approach me and you talk to me about it, not just come at me calling me a racist, a sexist, a whatever this, whatever that, and telling me how my fucking thoughts and opinions are all wrong and that I'm an asshole. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm the fuck down. You know? Um, I mean, it... If you come at someone with hostility, you're more than likely to get hostility back. Right. I mean, and that's just kind of the truth. Or if you don't get hostility back, you're going to get, you're going to start talking to a brick wall. That person's going to shut down, and all you're going to wind up doing is reinforcing the ideas they already have, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a situation like that, right? Like, look at the recent protests that happened, right? You know, no matter what side the protests were on, if they were not met with opposition, it was usually peaceful. And but see, if you have opposition, it's going it's going to get opposition creates tension. Tension then leads to whatever it leads to. So no, it's kind of you know that's unfortunately that's kind of the way it is. Like so, it's it's unfortunately hard to educate someone who doesn't want to be educated. So right. and now here's another, whether or not, here's another thing you know, though. How you going to do it? Is like you like you brought up um, what the fuck did you literally just say, Devin? My mind just blanked. Protest? Yeah, okay, so you brought up protests, right? Mm -hmm. I am very much guilty. I will tell I will be the first one to tell you. I do not watch the news. I do not listen to the news. I do not read news articles at all. If if it is something news related, unless it's something co movie or comic book related, I generally just don't. It's not that I don't care. It's it does not interest me enough to want to read about it. And then when you do read about stuff, it's honestly sometimes it's you have enough depressing shit in your own life exactly. to deal with. Exactly. So yeah, I a mean, lot of the times that. when like people are talking about certain things, like you brought up the protest, I don't even know what you're referencing to. Um, I might then start seeing it various places, or or if people want to talk to me about it, that's fine. I'll listen. But like, I, my main thing is like any listeners out there who want to approach me and talk to me like a civilized person, just assume that I don't know about the topic because <laughs> chances are, I probably don't. I, my go-to analogy is just like, look, I'm monkey brained, right? A monkey brain. You, you put something in front of me, you put a task in front of me. I, I can do the task, but just assume I'm monkey brain. So you want to, if you want to sit down and have a conversation, I know, I know some information. I know some stuff about some stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know, know everything. I know the square block goes in the square hole, but every so often right. I'm going to try to force it into the circle hole. I'm just right. going to try. Mean, <laughs> you're right, right? And, and, and that's fine. Right. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, if you, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong or you, you, you feel differently than I feel, I'm open to have a conversation. As long as that conversation is facilitated in a correct way. Right. You know, if you're, if you facilitating a conversation with me is getting, you know, upset and then yelling at me or whatever, like I, I'm, I may get defensive back at you. Um, but now, I mean, if you feel some type of way about something that I said or I did, if you just come to me and say, Hey, you know, X, Y, and Z, let's talk about it. You know, or I don't like when you did X, Y, and Z, and then you, I say okay, and then I come back with what I need to say. But that's the thing; it needs to be a two-way street too. Like, if you approach someone with like an issue about something they did or something they said, and you say your piece, you need to let them say their piece too. Yes, you can't just come up say say what you want to say, and then walk away. Yes, like because then that's just going to that person is going to internalize that and is going to make them more, more upset. Yeah. So I, I mean, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I mean, generally like about that, I that's think how, that would generally solve a lot of problems. That's how a lot. That's how, um, I will say, Oh, my mom listens to this podcast. That's how a lot of the females in my family, uh, fight. Uh, they will scream and yell at you and tell you their side of why they're pissed off and then walk away. Well, women in general don't fight fair. Fair. General, generally speaking, so women in general don't fight fair. They will usually use they will use things against you that that they damn well know. Like, 
will Dev, fuck okay. you up. I, Devin, I have a question specifically for you, and then All I have and then I have a question for Rob. Okay. In fact, let me lead. With, yes. let, me, let me lead with Rob. Rob's like, question. yes, I am ten out of ten. I am happier since I came out. <laughs> I'm. I, now, I don't have to do it anymore. Now, Rob, my question for you is: you've been, you've I, I been said kind that in the quiet. background. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't. I, didn't, I, I, I said didn't that's why it. I don't deal with them anymore. Oh. Um. Now, my question for you is: you've been you've been pretty quiet during this whole t- talk about stuff. Uh, what are, what are your opinions? Oh my God, I'm I'm friends with bigots. Yeah, like, what are your thoughts on like on this? Like, this isn't stuff that you would like that 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 we talk about uh, very often. No, we are very. We are actually breaking the SU rules. We are right. We are getting somewhat political on this show. We are, we are yeah. breaking SU rules, but that's what and happens. When, I never when, talk. I, well, I, I, I never talk. That's politics, what happens when it's but, Christmas time and we have nothing to talk about. Yeah. We, we we break the rules. Uh, I mean, I. I usually just go into my gay person survival mode when people start talking about politics and just clam up and say nothing, which is what I usually do. And well, let I it fly mean, over my head. I'm just, I'm, because, I'm, I'm curious no, as, I'm not from, from a friend's standpoint. Saying that it, that anything you guys said was necessarily wrong or anything. But I, like, I'm so used to people, especially in my family, talking about gay people and whatnot. And it's just like... I try not to say anything. I just stay out of it, and I could because I, I don't want to have to argue with my family. Like I don't know why. Like I feel like that. I don't need that put on me. Two, along with like, like I mean, I don't like the things that they say, but I would rather just absorb them and let them go over my head than argue with them about it because then that's just going to make it worse. And then why should I have to feel even worse than I do when they talk about things like that? Is how I one hundred percent understand what you're saying, Rob. In terms of like <laughs> sometimes your family just says fucked up shit, and it's just easier to be like, "Yeah, I'm just going to internalize this and have self therapy later," um, than it is to argue with them because that's just going to end bad. No, nobody will enjoy the situation from that point forward. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Which is, I mean, ultimately that's not healthy, but I mean, I mean, it's not also but... constantly arguing is not yeah. healthy either. Yeah. 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 So I mean, it's, it's not like healthy to be talked down by your family. It's also not healthy to constantly argue with your family. So it's kind now, of like a 50, 50. I would ask. And I mean, if you opt not to, that's 100% on you. Like mm-hmm. no one can force you to do anything, but I would ask that if like, you know, as a friend, if I ever said anything that like offended anyone, that you guys at least maybe not like chastise me about it, but like just kind of mention it off to the side, like, hey, that, yeah, you know, that like, was that was kind of crappy. Anybody what you said. that like, yeah, what, 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 I feel like I like the listeners think I'm like this horrible <laughs> racist monstrosity of a person, and I I just want to like I, I'm not so much walking on eggshells, but like I want to yeah. know like I mean if we have any gender fluid listeners, they're definitely going to be offended. <laughs> but other than well, I'll that, tell you no. this: if we have any gender fluid <laughs> listeners, pick a side. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with hey, you know what? If you, like write in, say hey, give us. Again, yeah, one hundred percent. Contact us. Explain Let us know. Us. Explain to me specifically. Yeah. Explain to Webby how it works. And yeah, why you feel that one hundred percent. Like it's not that I'm against what you, I don't. From my understanding it's, of it, I don't agree with it. More from your and it's one of those That's things too. It's like it's it, one of those things too, right? It's it's something like, and this is like a very like crude analogy but in a, in a certain way it's kind of like someone who hasn't you can't you can't explain phantom limb syndrome to someone who hasn't lost their limb you know what i mean like you have never you haven't experienced that in your own life in any kind of capacity man whether I'll tell through you this. another person or through yourself so it's something that from your perspective you really can't grasp it's, fully it's, so you automatically can't like just you you, you 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 can't i'm not saying you can't rationalize it it's just one of those things like you can't 
a hundred percent internalize it. I will tell you this: it's probably not on the same level at all whatsoever. But like, I definitely feel like I have like phantom tooth syndrome every so often because like I I'm missing a, a good portion of my molars on my upper left hand side. But like every so often, it, I, it, I, it, I I it, literally I reality. I feel he's like there's something older. stuck in my tooth, and I'll go to... In reality, he's just getting older, and he just forgets he doesn't have teeth on, on that side, and he tries to chew apples on that side, no, and he it's realizes... No, it's after- not even what I'm chewing. I'll just be sitting here playing a game, and I'll just feel like I have something stuck in my tooth, and I'll use I'll go to use my tongue, and there's just nothing there but gums. It's like, oh, okay, there's no teeth there to... Huh, okay. It's just and, a very then, strange feeling. It's sad, he's like, oh... <laughs> But yeah, I don't yeah. like, yeah, it, for sure. If there's anything out there, I, as a, no, like, as a individual, I never, ever have the intention or mean to offend anyone. I, no, I don't I ever go out there trying to pick fights with people or try to offend people unless I specifically tell you and pick you out and, and verbally attack you specifically uh i have done that once or twice on su uh otherwise i'm just i wouldn't even say i'm so much as i'm not so much ignorant to it i'm just uneducated and please write you know express to me and write to me and 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 try to correct me on on some of these things and and educate me a little bit that's all and and no, anything, like, anything you write in, listeners out there, anything you guys write in, like if you, if it's not something you want public, you can just say that. We we, we won't bring it up on the show. If oh, you just want to write in and be all. like, yep. If you just want to write in and be like, hey, you know, blah blah blah, you know, or I or I feel like you know, this way, and you like, but you don't want you don't want it to become a talking point on the show. That's totally fine. You you just let us know. Just put that in the email. It won't be a talking point on the show. Yep. Yeah. It'll just be something that but, we talk about ourselves behind the scenes or whatever. But no, like, it's different if you know the person would actually listen to you. Like, I know that if you guys, like, if some, you said something and I was like, mm, I don't like that. If I came to you and said something to you, you'd be like, oh, okay, and you would listen to me. You would not just scream at me and argue, which is what I'm talking about. Right. Like, my dad has used the F word to describe gay people. He's called them perverts. He believes that gay people are child molesters. And, like, I've had to listen to this all my whole life. And now that I'm actually, I've come out, it's just, like, I feel like it would be even worse if I confronted it now. Mm -hmm. So, it's just, like, I just don't, like, I kind of just... And I'm used to it, and that's now how I am all the time. Like, if something like that that really bothers me deep down, I just kind of just clam up and don't say anything and just kind of almost ignore it like it's not happening. Because that is how I survived as a teenager growing up like that, because inside I thought that I was, like, a terrible person. And there was something wrong with me, and it's affected my my whole earlier life. It's just... Uh, is that but why now, you got real quiet and didn't defend Ahsoka Tano in our conversation yesterday? I don't give a crap about Ahsoka Tano. Well, okay, <laughs> if you say so. I mean, this is exactly what you're saying. You just kind of clam up and just give up on the fight. Yeah. What's your problem with Ahsoka Tano? She's a shit-dwelling mushroom eater. I don't know. That is, you said that she lives in a mushroom. She does. <laughs> she eats it, too. I, it's it's again it's t- personally it's it's one of those things where I just everyone that I see seems to love this character. I don't know enough about her, and again because so many people have ho- hold her in such high regard, I can I, tell you I exactly want what. to hate her. I can answer you. I can answer the question right now. Have you have, have you ever seen the oh, Clone Wars animated no, series? I've I told started, him he has to watch it. I've That's why. That's why, hundred percent. That's why. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, she, she, she is a solid character in that. I, I mean, she, yeah, she's a solid character. I like her a lot. I really like the interactions of her and uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? Anakin. Thank you. I'm like, I, I can't think of his name pre pre Darth Vader because it's like it's weird because I work with I work with a guy who's new named Anakin now. So like that name is like a real life name to me now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so like, it's like weird. It feels weird saying it. I have said all this, and then he just kept saying, "But why is she so great? But why is she?" So-? I'm like, I don't know, Webby. I don't care. I don't care if you like it so much. <laughs> Well, it's like I am not personally invested in a. <laughs> Listen, all I gotta say is the Loopy, sense. But man, Webby doesn't like a Soka title. I don't know if my life's ever going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the Sith are the real good guys. The Jedi are the evil ones. That's all I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh Debbie, you keep going in and out, in and out. Sorry, I was like leaning over. I was like Rob wakes up in the middle of the night. Um and just like sits in, the, like, in cold sweat and he's like a Sokotano. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Oh my god, uh, that just reminds me. I did have another dream. Oh, hold on. I had another. I forgot. I had a question for Devin. Uh, that that okay. question for Rob spurned into another whole conversation, and then I had a question for Devin. What now, was the question? I I had brought this up to Rob the other day as well. I I just I'm not going to give you any type of uh, of context into this. I just want to know your opinion on something. If I said women are better at cleaning than men, is that or is that not a sexist comment? We'll answer your question and say, depending on which side of the feminism argument you fall, and by that I mean, if you're like in the, I guess the, I guess I would say the extremist feminism category, yes. Uh, I think day to day life, no. Um, I, I mean, it's, technically, any any technically any comment you make that is. Referencing one gender in comparison to another gender could be construed as sexist, but I think that's taking it to the extreme. So I would say day-to-day life, and depending on context in that situation, no. Okay. And in your opinion, would you say that women are better cleaners than men? I would say no, only because, I mean, I, I know some I, I know some guys who, like, Ship has to be tidy constantly, and I know women who are just like fuck it. It right, so it, it, li- it, it, boils, it lies where it lies. So it all boils <laughs> down to the individual has nothing. It boils to do down to the sex. individual. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. What I mean, so I agree. I, good. Go I am terrible. Like I am the worst cleaner out of every gender. I am. Well, yeah, I'll put I'm it this way. Uh, I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. I am when I, it when I need to clean. I am I I can clean when I need to clean, um. But I, I mean I, I, I was taught how to clean. Put it that way. I was not a, a person who was born like, like some people are born to instinct to clean. Like I gotta clean. I gotta clean. Now I will say there's one space I will clean constantly, and I will clean like religiously and like like pulling out toothbrushes and like you know scrubbing. Um, and that's the kitchen because that's like my safe space. I love to cook, so that's my safe space. I will keep my kitchen spotless. Right. But other than that, like, okay, yeah, I mean, like, my uh, room is. I, I ask, about. I ask because my sister, it was going. For, she's she's attempting to get a, a cleaning job at a, at a hospital. And they prefer women. And no, uh, in fact, her. If she gets the job, her supervisor conducted an interview with her over the phone, who's a guy, and he asked her, what do you think your, you know, your strengths and your weaknesses are? And as far as weaknesses go, she says men's cleaning uh, because women just clean better. And then she instantly, she instantly. I'll be honest. That's just a shitty answer to that question. True. Yeah, and then she was, she I instantly realized, was like, "Please don't that, not hire me because of this." But I, I, I just realized though, how is that her weakness? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But she didn't answer the question. Like, but, um, I, I, I mean, don't like. I looked at her in the car, and I was like, "That's sexist." I can't believe <laughs> I finally get to p- pick that out on somebody. 
And she's mm-hmm. like, no, it's factual. I was like, oh yeah, there's statistical studies that you've 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 researched on this fact. It, like that's not factual. factual. I don't think it's factual. Um, and then she, factual. she brought it up to my dad. My dad, my dad's like, oh no, I'll agree with her. Ever since the beginning of time, men were the hunters and women were the cleaners. I was like, dad, what? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> like, so, like go back to your. Your question of of I saying mean, like, women clean better than men is is that sexist, right? And I, I said it depends on context. Like if using the context of like, hey, get back in there and clean because you know women right? clean better than men. That, that's, that's obviously your job. that's your job, right? That's obvious, like, obviously that's yes. sexist. That's obviously that's sexist. sexist. If you're like just having a conversation and you're talking, you're like, well, you know, like you and your girlfriend are div- are like dividing up tasks, and you have to like. All right, well, we got to do this. Like, I got to organize the garage. We got to, you know, we we got to do this. Like, you know what? I'll organize the garage because that's my area. I know that you can clean the bathroom because, like, you you just do it better than me. Like, right. that is I, that's not inherently sexist. I will that's say, just a conversation. I will say my opinion on this is there is always going to be somebody out there better than you at what you think you're good at, whether they're male or female. Who's to say? Like I, I told, the, I told my sister. I was, I was, was like, going to say the you, internet joke, but we're already being canceled, uh, so I'm not going to do that. Yet. I, I already, I already told my sister. Like I, I, I guarantee you, I could find a guy out there somewhere who's better at cleaning than you are. Did your dad mean cleaning carcasses? Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> Hunting and cleaning? No, I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> um. um like but but also, I'm, in, I'm kind of in the same boat with Devin though. Like I like I know I was taught to clean. I will say I'm not. I'm like my house. My house gets messy. Like, but if I, I if there, I have there's some to clean, people who literally cannot tolerate. There's oh, yeah, people who like cannot germaphobes. tolerate. Like yeah. They, well, no, they not, keep even, not even germaphobes. Not even just germaphobes. They're just people who, who can't like operate in an unclean space. Right. Right. So they need See, to they, have, need, they need it to be clean. I have organized I personally chaos. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Like I can opt like right now my room is messy. There is a point. There is a point where I would say or like my bathroom or whatever will, will be like like messy. There is a a hard point where I'll walk in the bathroom and be like yeah, I can't do this anymore. And then I'll clean. Well, see, right? I have thing. a yeah. hard line. No, I get it. <laughs> I'm I'm on the same point. Like I I mentioned this because my mom is a cleaning lady. She has been my whole life. She has her own business. And I mean, that's what she does as a profession. So I like, I was taught how to do it. I'm just lazy and I don't, I don't keep up with it as well. But if like, if, if my mom messaged me and said, Hey, next Wednesday, I'm coming out to the house at 1 PM. I want you to have the house spick and span when I get there. I would be able to do that. You'd bitch about it the whole time. I'd, I'd hear about it the entire mm-hmm. time you're cleaning. Uh huh. I'd probably have one of you on Discord with me just complaining about <laughs> it. But yes, I am capable of doing it. Like right in the vacuum, right in the vacuum, how he's coming to himself. It's like, this is bullshit. This is my goddamn house. This is my- <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Like, I just. Yeah, I don't know. It threw me for a loop. Like, yeah, I mean that's that's one of those gay stereotypes too. Is all gay guys are always super clean. Mm mm. No. False. If anybody False. saw me right now, they'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Take me like a week to clean this place. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so Rob, did you have something else you wanted to say before I uh, I had asked Devin that question? I don't think so. Oh. I think that was it. Well, you started to want to say something, and then I and then I remembered that I had a question for Devin. Well, I don't. That was a while ago now. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, the title of the episode. The, the title of the episode could be the one time we get political. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to do that because then people are going to be like, "Well, is there going to be the one time that you guys get religious?" And it's like those are the oh, two God. things I tend to not talk about: is religion yeah. and politics. I, I I brought up religion in in this. So you can throw that in there too. I, I brought up religion in this at one now, point. To be <laughs> fair, <laughs> to be fair, like. <sighs> Talking about what I'm we've talked about, to talking about what we've talked about tonight. If that is considered political, that's fine. 
when I say that I do not talk politics and I care zero about politics, we're not I'm talking, talking about like I'm mistake. talking about like the presidential stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that yeah. type of like, political. This is like stuff. this is. I guess this is this is like socio social, like social politics. Economic. This is like social economic politics. Yeah, that, yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, you know, but yeah. I mean, personally, it's you know. I, this is stuff like I don't mind. I, I never mind talking about this stuff. Like, well, it, it I, dawned you know. on me too that like, so we've been friends for years, all three of us, and mm-hmm. like there are certain things that I realize that we just never really talk about. You know, like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell. You know, I wouldn't be able to answer certain questions about either of you, um, because it's just about things that we, we just don't ever bring up. You know, so mm. it, it made me curious. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I think the I think the cardinal rule, like, and we're all I would say we're all pretty good friends, right? Like, we don't hang out like IRL day to day, but we we talk like almost every day, right? Um, right. You know, I would say we we're, we're all really good friends. The you know, but at the same time, it's one of those things where you talking about you know religion, politics, and like money depending on like the situation, you're always going to end up with someone not happy about something that came out of that. Right. Right. And so I think just naturally, like that's just natural social, like social, like not social law because not everybody follows it, but this is kind of like a natural social, like adaptation that people and just generally have adapted. It's just like, we don't talk about that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, but I, I mean, know, like, like, okay, like another thing that we don't, like, that we've hardly ever talked about are like, well, first off, our pasts, like, pretty much anything involving our pasts, the only people, like, so, like, relationship wise, the only thing I know, the only two people who've really talked about relationships in this group, I've mentioned, like, Rob has mentioned his, and then, I mean, we all helped Donnie through one of his. Yeah. Yep. And I mean yeah, that's I mean, that's the closest that we've ever gotten, really, as far as that goes. Like I I don't know. It's 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 intriguing to me. It's Yeah. I mean, and this is the thing, right? Like it, but it's honestly this is how I feel. You know, we don't talk about this stuff. Like there is not a single topic like you you ask me, I wouldn't be I wouldn't like I would have a problem bringing up. Oh yeah, same with me. Like, like, like yeah, if, if it I'm a, I'm like, book. you asked me a question, I would I would answer it. Like I have no problem like talking, especially with you guys. Like, I have no problem like talking about anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fine. You want to talk religion? I'm I'm an agnostic. I don't know what that means. It means basically a skeptic. Oh, all right. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I kind of fall in the same boat. Like, I I guess the way the better way I put it is this. I would say, like, if I had to like put. My, my my political my religious beliefs in the the broader spectrum of like the world I would say I would probably say I fall somewhere in the ballpark of like Christianity but I'm also at the same time I would say I'm very agnostic but I also at the same time have a huge dislike for organized religion um that is like my biggest issue with religion is just organized religion because there's always an ulterior motive in my opinion. Yeah. There. So I, I, I have friends that are super religious, and we're really oh, good friends. Same. And, we had this, and we and we've had this conversation. Like my aunt is super religious, and we and we we have conversations all the time. Yeah. Like she's super religious to the point where, like, if I'm watching a show or playing a game, she was she's like, "You're going to hell." Ah. And I'm like, "Eh, good company." Yeah, um, I, I have plenty of people in my life you know. who are super religious, yeah. and yeah, I and, mean, that's fine. And, yeah, uh, it's fine. Right? Like, I will yeah, say, my- go ahead. I was going to say, my family is Protestant, and the church that I go to is a Protestant congregational, the one I do my plays at, but I'm not really part of the church, because like I said, I'm an agnostic. But that's what my, my, my parents and my sisters are, are Protestants, but they don't really practice. I, they don't go to church, really. But my, and I'm agnostic. My brother, I, I'm pretty sure, is an out-and-out atheist. See, me... So... <clears throat> I never grew up going to church, um, regardless of what, what religion my parents were. They never forced church or religion onto us. But the thing is, is growing up, they never talked about it, so I never asked about it. 
And then I hit a period of my life where I started getting very curious about certain things. Mm -hmm. So I would go through and I'd look and I'd ask questions of people like coworkers that I worked with or, you know, anybody who, who seemed willing to talk to me about things. Um, and th I asked of all different types of religions and apparently if you took the majority of like my belief system, like what I believe and, the were, and were to try to put it into a religion uh, to match it as close as you could, it apparently falls under the Jehovah witness religion. Uh, though I am not one of those knock on the door type of people. I do not, I don't pass out flyers. I don't go to church. I've never been to church. The last time I was in a church was for a wedding. Um, but like, it's, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Religion is one of those things where it's like, it's interesting to me to talk about to a degree, but I understand how easily and how fast it turns into a debate or an argument. And it's not something I want to fight over. Um, it's also like, like, like you said, you're ag ag agnostic. Is that what it is? Yep, agnostic. I, hey, like I have no ill feelings towards that. Like, you know, everybody can believe their own thing, you know? Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things, right? There, there were a lot of things before Christianity, right? Like, I mean, histor like we can historically look at it and say there were a lot of things before Christianity. So it's one of those things of like, well, Christianity just kind of, they kind of won out in terms of, you know, being like mainstream and spread around the world. They won out, but you, it's hard, it's hard to sit and say like, it's hard for me to look at, you know, millions of people one way or the other and go, you're wrong. Because that's right. effectively, like, what you have to do, right? Right. And I can't get behind that, right? I can't, like, I, I can't get behind that. So it's one of those things where, like, when it comes to religion, like, for me, like I said, like, I practice, I'm not really, I don't really practice much of any, much of any faith. Like, the closest thing I get to, like, religion is I just practice, like, or I've, I've been before, like, I, I practice, like, the golden rule of just, hey, uh, treat people like you want to be treated. Yes. And um, if the, if there is, like, I try to just be a decent person. If there if there is, and if there is something in the afterlife, I just hope that me being a decent uh, decent person while I was living will get me get me where I need to go. Right. Like, and, see, and that's I'm, it. I'm kind of the same boat. Where like, if there is a higher power out there that is looking down over everybody. If he's that powerful and that omnis om omnipotent and whatever, he can see into our hearts, each and every one of us. And as long as you're a good person or you believe you're doing good and you're you're being a good person, um, that'll get recognized. That's that's what I choose to believe. You know, no, absolutely. Uh, are you and saying that's kind of the same are, if you're gonna tell me, oh well? You say fuck an awful lot, so you're going to burn in hell for all of eternity because of something that you say. It's like, no, I don't really think that's how that would. That doesn't really pan out for me. <laughs> like, and if, I mean, and if it turns out that way, yeah, and it turns out that way, right? Yeah. Like, but we won't I, know. It, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, folks. <laughs> literally, at this point, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, right. I, mean, I mean, the way religion is, all the people that I could tolerate anyway are going to be in hell anyway. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hell, it'll be good company, right? That's what our family always said. You know, we'll know everyone there. But, all right, so there, we've talked politics, we've talked religion, we're over the hour mark. What so. if hell was just, what if hell was just your, like, just like your opposite of, like, a happy life? So like or like you're like so you like this existence would just go on. You just you just had to live through twenty well, twenty no. again. <laughs> well, that or like you have to be like like let's say like you hate like people like oh hey you know what you have to you're host forced to live out you have to host you're parties every to live day. Live out your days living in a cul de sac hosting parties every day. <laughs> no, no. 
Webby's like, Webby's like opening the door with a smile on his face, but inside he's dying. He just opened the door with a smile on his face, like a bow tie and a cabbie hat. Like, hey, welcome in, neighbor. How's it going? And it just... <laughs> No. And he's just forced to smile the whole time. And be and happy see, the all thing the time. is, is like that would be my personal hell, but that would be somebody else's heaven. You know it, right? Exactly, <laughs> like, exactly, exactly. So like, so like, so like that person would be like in like solitary, like just nobody to talk to, and they're just like slowly losing their mind. Like that, that would be it, right? <sighs> No, God, just the thought of that suburban Webby. I fucking hate that. <laughs> I hate the Webby. whole thought of it. Webby, you're wearing dress socks with sandals. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Suburban Webby, like, starter kit. No, like, but hold fucking... on. I'd have to be still somewhat racist, so I'd have to wear those Japanese sandals. <laughs> just... No, 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 no. You. You just have to have you just have to c- commit multiple crimes against humanity and just wear like tube socks and Birkenstocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dang it! Well, like literally, you're gonna be that guy wearing wearing tube socks, Birkenstocks, like the like fucking <laughs> the fucking like uh like uh oh god, what are they called? Like the khaki shorts, like the button up with the bow tie and suspenders. And see, ultimately, like, what I'm trying to strive for, and mom, if you're listening, you'll hear this, is, okay, so, in the house I live in now, it's the house I grew up in. Bilbo Baggins, from, at the very beginning of I, Lord of the Rings, he's no, just like, go away. <laughs> kind of. Like, I want to be, like, the, the, what the kids believed the old dude was in the Sandlot. Like if somebody if if the kids were playing and like a frisbee got tossed in the yard, they'd be scared to come into my yard after it. See, like, I just described to be like a hobbit. Like I can just, have like, just, just like grumpy, I can have like eight wanna, meals no, a day. I, I want to be the known grumpy guy that no that everyone just leaves the fuck alone. That's not that hard. But wait, boy, wait, boy. But are you like the known grumpy guy that everyone leaves alone? And like there's like that one like neighborhood kid who's like on his way to like jail or juvie and the court of science and do like community service and he winds up like coming into your house and like helping you out and he'll he learns never, your life he'll story. Never, he'll never come into my house. He he, he you like got community he like service comes in. pick up the well, yard. No. Well no, well no. What happens is like he winds up like he shows up every day. He's just like fuck it, like you know, you're like, get off my lawn and then he shows up every single day and then like he's like, I'm I'm forced to be here. I don't I don't like this just as much as you do. You both hate it. And then after a while, like he starts to grow on you or like you like slip and fall or some shit. And he has he's come inside and help you up. And after that, you slowly, you slowly grow closer together and you start developing a bond. Um, and then he learns your life story. You learn his life story and you both help each other. And then at the climactic end of all, like you wind up like dying, but like you die happy knowing that, you know, you, you taught him a valuable lesson. He taught you a valuable lesson. Like, is you that know, where, is that we're going for here? All right. We're going for like that, that if, hallmark ending. If, if that's how I die happy, <laughs> I would die happier having none of that happen. Okay. So, Webby, we talked about this before we, talked about this before we got on, or actually, no, we talked about this before, as we got on. Like, you, you, you are a, a naturally empathetic person, no matter how much you try to hide that. So, true. that's I not am. true. That's not true. Like, I know you. That's no, not true. I don't like. I don't like other people that I don't know. I'm telling you, that's not true. You will. You don't. I know you don't like other people you don't know, but. You you will ad- uh, slowly adapt. Although you to did say in that story we got to know each other, which yep. sucks. Yep. You, you altered you altered yep. my own wording of the story here. Yep. Yep. You bonded over Duncan's hot chocolate. I'd probably blow my brains out mid conversation. <laughs> <laughs> be like, you're here to pick up the house. Fine, clean this. Boom, bitches. I got the laugh, la- last laugh. I'll be like, I'll die on my okay. own terms. <laughs> we got we got dark real quick here, folks. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. Rob. Do you have a science corner for us? Uh, we haven't done this in a couple weeks with me. Uh, yeah, actually, I read uh, an article a couple of days ago about a radio signal from Proxima Centauri that people think could be aliens, but it's probably not. It's, but it's some kind of space phenomena that we haven't encountered before. Um, the reason they think it's probably not aliens, although there is a, a habitable planet, because so, um, Proxima Centauri is one of the closest stars to us. It's near Alpha Centauri. It's their binary system. But there is a, a planet in what they call the Goldilocks Zone that surround, that, that orbits Proxima Centauri. The Goldilocks Zone is the area where you could find a habitable planet with liquid water. Um, but they say if it's originating from that planet, 
like if there's a radio capable species, we should be we should have picked up stuff in a lot more a long time ago. <clears throat> if there's a radio capable species on that planet, so they think it's some kind of unknown heretofore anomaly, but there is radio signal coming to Earth from Proxima Centauri. So okay. take that as you will. Now I have another. Qu- I always have a question for Science Corner with Rob. Mm-hmm. We're gonna harken back to Star Wars here for a moment. No, okay. Now I watched a video of somebody who made a homemade lightsaber, and it actually heated mm-hmm. up to the point, uh, essentially heated up to the point where they could actually cut through certain things. I've seen that same video. I think. Yeah, I think I've seen it too. Now, do you think in our lifetime that one will be able to actually get actual lightsabers type like made? Like ones that are more efficient and more effective than that, like the one in that video. And second part of that question: <clears throat> Now that lightsaber had an end point. Mm-hmm. How could like how, could an uh, could an actual lightsaber? If somebody was going to build an actual lightsaber, they'd have to have an end point on the other end, wouldn't they? How do, how yeah. does the laser stop? I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think yeah. it's electric. It's I think it's if I'm not mistaken, it's um like the way that it would have to be, it would have to be um basically and Rob, you can correct me on this if I'm not mistaken, they they talk about it, they said it was something be something along the lines of it would have to be uh a very strong electromagnetic current, like swirling the like swirling the electrons and the protons and keeping them contained within a field. Um yeah. That would mm-hmm. allow them to not extend out past a certain point. Yes. So basically, the answer to your question is no. We will never have lightsabers. Not not and not the true way of light. Like we may have like the like we may have heat sabers. Yeah. That's very possible. Because one that lightsaber required a gigantic power generator, which it had to be attached to. Right. Yeah. Well, Two like the backpack. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. battery bank. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Like Devin says, it would have to have some kind of force field to contain it. Otherwise, it would just fire off and just uh, if, like a laser. If that point. <laughs> but if you're going to surround it with a force field to hold it in place, you would also not be able to hit things without hitting it with the force field first. Like, it would basically be a contained laser that you couldn't hit anything with because it's inside of a force field. Okay, secondary question. <laughs> also probably Star Wars related and or G.I. Joe related. <laughs> okay. Could could we make a gun that shoots lasers? And second part they of that already question, have those. Now, okay, now second part, like like a weaponized one or one. Uh, sort of, yeah. Okay, now second. I mean, where does the laser have a drop off point, or does it just keep going? Lasers are basically light frequencies so they keep going yes so if you had a laser pistol Uh and you just fired that shit up into the air it would just fly forever until it hit something technically if you use a laser pointer that is also true like if you aimed a laser pointer at the moon eventually the laser would get there unless it hit like some type of weird like field that would disrupt it Yeah, if it, it, it had like a field or something that would disru- it disrupts the laser, and it wouldn't. But theoretically, yeah, that's the reason why. That's the reason why you can actually get in legal trouble if you like flash a, a strong enough laser pointer in the sky because it fucks with planes. Hmm. Okay. Like planes can actually see your like fucking in the sky. That if you have a strong enough laser pointer, like those really strong ones that you have to like be, you have to like legally sign documents to buy. Those now, like now would you a, act, planes can actually see those. Now, would a laser fired from a weapon, if it hits somebody, would it stop at the person, or would it go through the person and continue traveling? It would probably go straight through. It would depend on what kind of laser, because, like Devin said, like if it hit a field, like if the hitting a person disrupts it enough, it would stop. It depends on how much the person's body absorbed of the laser light. Okay. Do do you think we're gonna have weaponized like GI Joe or Star Wars laser guns in our lifetime? That's a maybe. Our lifetime? I would say probably not in our not not in our lifetime. Uh, but it depends on how old we live till. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I'll be lucky to make it to forty. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with Devin. <laughs> I only got three more years. 
I got a little more than that, but not by much. Um. Okay. Well, that was my questions for Science Corner. Well, maybe when you, maybe when you die, I'm sure we'd be in the same spot. So just save me a beer. All right. We'll do. keep it going for me. I'll have to because I'm goddamn hosting parties in suburbia. <laughs> yep. Uh, my own personal hell. <laughs> Uh, and you're gonna you're gonna be like that overly nice neighbor too, like the one that's like, uh, like your like your neighbor like he's not feeling like well. He comes outside of the house, and you're just like in his front lawn, like mowing his lawn for him. Like morning, neighbor. You're just mowing the lawn. You're like, oh saw God. I was a little tall. Saw I was a little tall. So I take care of you. Don't worry. You go right back in that house. I'll bring you over some chicken noodle soup later. You rest on up there, like that Jim Carrey <laughs> movie where he's in the, the Truman Show there. Yep, yep, that's oh, exactly how you're going to be. God dang it. I hope <laughs> and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, good, good night. night. <laughs> I'd walk into oncoming traffic, and then I'd it'd be like Groundhog's Day, and I, I wouldn't be able to end it. I, no. Oh, God. Okay. I don't want, let's not talk about this. Devin, we need life <laughs> advice with Devin so we can end the episode. Life advice with Devin, because uh, I feel like it is a, um, I guess, uh, this is from Aristotle, because I feel like it's. <laughs> It fit the conversation of the day. Uh, it is the mark of an intelligent or, or even educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Okay. There you go. I have the life's advice with Rob. If you're going to buy Cyberpunk, buy it for PC. <laughs> buy it for console. And set the expectations at medium. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. I will end it on my life advice with Webby. As you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters never point the wrong way. I feel like you rehashed that one, but that's okay. I think I rehashed it on my day too. That's okay. It's an Irish bless. It. It's an old Irish blessing. I take it. It's fine. Uh, all right. So with that being said, Rob, Wait, where can people I, find I, you? You don't get I a second have, one. No. no, I have an Irish proverb though. Okay, uh, only because it's Irish. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, may God turn our enemies' hearts, and if He cannot turn their, their hearts, may He turn their ankles so that we know them by their limping. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Rob, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter at Professor underscore X and hopefully again on Twitch soon at twitch.tv slash Professor X. Uh, and Devin, where can people find you? You guys can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Pookie and on Twitch at Mr. D3. And as always, you can find me on the eBay's. Um, Standing for justice. Standing for justice. And I've as been standing always, for a while because there's no justice on eBay. As always, everybody, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Jacks Forest Walker, all one word, on Twitch at DM Webby, and on Instagram at Patrick.Webster52, where I post sometimes funny pictures, memes, things like that. Lying. He posts twerking videos of himself twerking. If you want to check it out, go over there. And on eBay at. Sitting for justice. Sitting for justice. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, again, feel free to always write us, uh, email us, message us on on Facebook on the Simply Unprofessional yep. Facebook yep. page. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob set up a Simply Unprofessional uh, Twitter. Yep, it, it's Simply Unprofessed one. I, yeah. Until I still won't let me change it. I've tried. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> and, reach uh, out, reach out any way you want, uh, and feel free to talk to us. And uh, yeah, what were you gonna say? And Dan? keep as in and keep your eye out in 2022. Uh, me and Webby are we're um we just got cast to uh for the remake of Blues Brothers. So sure. keep your. We were keeping that secret, but we were keeping that secret. Fuck it. I'm, I'm throwing it out. We're there coming towards the end of 2020. We might as well throw it out there now. We we may not make it, so I'd rather say it now to let people know that to let people know that we made it. Yep. <laughs> Keep it out for our rock band, Tiny Little Top Knot. Tiny yep. Little Top yep. Knot. Tiny little top All knot. right, everybody, we love you. Uh, stay safe and fuck Booster Gold. Fuck Booster Gold. MBG. 
Bounce, 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 bounce.